This is the homework for 120 and 123. For 120, Jabari is thinking of three numbers. So we don't know these three numbers, but the greatest number is twice as large as the least number. The middle number is three more than the least number. The sum of the three numbers is 75. So we need to find the numbers. So since we don't know the three numbers he's thinking of, we're going to come up with variables to represent the unknown. So we're going to let x be the least number, let y be the middle number, and let z be the greatest number. We do know that the sum of these three numbers, so x plus y plus z, will equal 75. Since x plus y plus z equals 75, then we know that the greatest number, which is z, is twice as large as the least number. So the greatest number is z, the least number is x. So we know that this number, this greatest number, is 2 times x, this, the least number. So we have 2x. And we also know the middle number, so y, the middle number is 3 more than the least number. So it's 3 more than x. So we're going to say x plus 3 because that's 3 more than the least number. And x, the least number, is just the least number. And we know that the sum of these three numbers will equal 75. So now we're going to combine like terms. We have x, x, and 2x. So altogether we have 4x's. And then we have 3, so positive 3. And we know that that will equal 75. And now we're going to simplify this equation and by using inverse properties. So the inverse property of addition is subtraction, so we're going to subtract 3 from both sides. That creates a zero pair. 75 minus 3 equals 72. And now the inverse property of multiplication is division. And so we're going to divide both sides by 4. Remember, what you do to one side, you do to the other. And this is, we're dividing by 4 because this creates the big 1. 4 divided by 4 is 1, and 1 multiplied by x is just x. That's the identity property of multiplication. 72 divided by 4 equals 18. So now we have x equals 18. So the least number, x, x equals 18. The middle number, y, is x plus 3 because the middle number is 3 more than the least number. So we have 18 plus 3, which equals 21. The greatest number is 2 times the least number. So remember, x is 18. So we have 2 multiplied by 18, which equals 36. So the greatest number equals 36. And we want to make sure that this is correct. And remember, x plus y plus z equals 75. The sum of the three numbers equals 75. So if x equals 18 plus y equals 21 plus z equals 36, add these three numbers and you get 75, which equals 75. So that's a true statement. So these are the three numbers that Jabari was thinking of. For 123, we need to locate the following numbers by placing the lowercase letter a through f on the number line corresponding to the values given below. So a is 2 and 1 thirds. So we go to the number line. It's greater than 2 because it's 2 and a fraction of 1 third. And here is where 2 and 1 third is approximately located. 
for b, it's a negative number, so it's a negative 2, so we start at 0, negative 1, negative 2, and 7 tenths. So it's almost to negative 3. For c, we are going to subtract 9 tenths and 4 hundredths. So I lined up the decimals and I added a place value for the hundredths and regrouped and we end up getting 86 hundredths. 86 hundredths is almost one, but not quite. So on the number line, C is here, 86 hundredths. For D is negative two tenths. So it's a negative number and negative two tenths is almost a quarter, so it's about a fourth of the way. So there's D. For E, it's 33 and one-third percent of 12. So 33 and one-third percent is a third. So we're trying to find the third of 12. Here is 12 multiplied by one-third, and I wrote 12 as a fraction. Multiply, 12 multiplied by 1 is 12, 1 multiplied by 3 is 3, 12 divided by 3. So on the number line, E equals 4. For F, we're going to add 7 tenths plus 2 thirds. In order to add fractions, you need a common denominator. And the common denominator for 10 and 3 equals 30. And in order to get 30, we multiply 10 by 3. If we multiply the denominator by 3, we multiply the numerator by 3. 7 multiplied by 3 is 21. We multiply 3 by 10 to get 30. So if you multiply the denominator by 3, I mean by 10, you multiply the numerator by 10. And 2 multiplied by 10 is 20. So now that we have a common denominator, you add the numerators, 21 plus 20 is 41, keep the denominator, which is 30, and 41 divided by 30 equals, it equals 1 and 11 thirtieths. And 1 and 11 thirtieths is approximately 1 and 1 third. So on the number line, 1 and 1 third is approximately located here.